A pleasant day, STEM learners. This is again Sir Peter, your pre-calculus teacher. So we are now done with week number five. This time, we'll discuss week six, which talks about systems of nonlinear equations. So at this end of, of this video lesson, you should be able to solve systems of nonlinear equations. Now, recall the sketch of the graph of a linear equation. Observe the given equation here. We have 2x plus y is equal to 2. As you observe, um, the graph, the sketch of the graph is a line and it's a straight line, which leans to the left. Because if we solve it, y is equal to mx plus b form, or the slope intercept form, that will become y is equal to negative 2x plus 2. And observe that here, m is equal to 2, in which the slope is negative. That's why the graph leans to the left. Now, recall the graph of a system of linear equation. When we say a system of linear equation, we have two lines already. Look at the first. Um, linear equation for x plus y is equal to 6 is represented by this red line. While the equation 5x plus 3y is equal to 4 is represented by this blue line here. And observe that the two lines intersect at a certain point. And what is that point? It is 2, negative 2. Notice that 2, negative 2 is what we refer to as the intersection of the two lines, but it is also the solution to the two linear equations or to the system itself. So substituting the values, we have 4 times 2 plus negative 2. Is it equal to 6? Correct. We have 5 times 2, 10. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. So 10 plus negative 6 is so you see how the solution satisfied the two equations in the linear system. So again, when we say system, it now talks about two or more lines in the graph. But what if the sketch of the graph are nonlinear, meaning they are curves, just like the conics? So nonlinear equations are equations whose graphs are not straight line. Examples of this are equations of conic sections. So observe this blue line. This is a nonlinear equation represented by y minus 1 is equal to x squared. And this one is a linear equation because it is represented by a line minus y plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, nonlinear systems should compose of at least one nonlinear equation. So even if the given equation, for example, this one, even if there is a linear equation here, still there is one which is a curve. Line. So an existence of one nonlinear will consider this one as a nonlinear system. Okay, so it doesn't need to be two nonlinear, only one is um, applicable. A pair of numbers for the unknown xy that satisfies the equation is called the solution or solution. It could be two of the equation. Observe these two circles represented by the following. We have the quantity x minus 3 squared plus the quantity y minus 5 squared is equal to 10. And that is represented by the red circle. For the blue circle, it's represented by x squared plus the quantity y plus 1 squared is equal to 25. Notice that when we graph them, the points of intersection are located here. 
the locations are exactly at 0, 4 and 4, 2, respectively. So, therefore, if we substitute the value of x for 0 and y for 4, then it will be equal to 10. Let us check. 0 minus 3 is negative 3 squared, so that is 9. 4 minus 5 is negative 1 squared is positive 1. So, therefore, 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. So, 10 is equal to 10. Consequently, when we substitute 0 for x squared and 4 on this equation, so that will be 0 plus 4 plus 1 squared will be equal to 25. The same thing will happen with 4, 2. For sure, when you substitute their values, they will be equal because 0, 4, and 4, 2 are what we call the solutions to the given nonlinear equation. So the two equations solved simultaneously constitute a system of nonlinear equation. Okay, so again, even one of them, for example, a circle and a line, the intersections could still be considered as a nonlinear system. Okay, so it's still a system of nonlinear. Observe this figure on the screen. We have the red curve represented by y squared minus 4x minus 6y is equal to 11, and the blue curve represented by the 4 times the quantity 3 minus x is equal to the quantity y minus b squared. Both are parabolas, which either opens to the left or to the right. And the point of intersections are located at negative 1, 7, and negative 1, negative 1, respectively. So the solutions of the system should be a set of pairs of x and y. So it should be a coordinate on the Cartesian plane. So all second degree equations, which are systems of nonlinear equations, could have one or more solutions. So a system of equations can be solved by graphical method. So the previous examples um, can easily be identified, no? the solutions, because of their graphs. Because look, by looking at the graph, the point of intersection of the two nonlinear equations represents the solution. Well, for the algebraic method, we can use either the substitution method or the elimination method to solve for the solutions. Let us have illustrative examples. Suppose we have the question, what is or are the solutions of the given system of nonlinear equation if the first and the second equations are x squared plus 2y minus 12 is equal to 0, and x squared plus y squared is equal to 36. Um, referring to identifying the conic by inspection, so you inspect this one. This seems to be an equation of a parabola because only the x part appeared. And in here, since the x part and the y part part appeared and the coefficients of x and y are the same, this is an equation of a circle. So imagine um, a circle intersecting a parabola. So we do not know if the parabola is like this, or it may be upward or downward. We do not know, okay, not unless we graph. But algebraically, we can treat that one as this one. So first, we rewrite equation one. So I will skip one part. That's x squared plus 2y minus 12 is equal to 0. And then I will also rewrite the second equation. That's x squared. So I skip a space for the y part, the quadratic part. plus 36. So simply align all the similar terms. So observe that 
we can eliminate the variable y by subtraction. So we subtract x squared minus x squared. So that will be canceled. Then 0 minus y squared will be negative y squared. So we bring down positive 2y. We have negative 12. I'm sorry. Um, this should be negative 36. I stand corrected because this is positive here. So we, when we transpose, it becomes negative. So we follow the sign. So negative 12 minus negative 36. So that will be positive 24 is equal to zero. Next is we invert the signs by dividing both sides or the entire quadratic equation by negative one. So we will have y squared minus 2y plus 24 is equal to zero. So we solve for the y value. Um, let's factor first using factoring method. So we have y for positive um, 24. How do we get um, negative 2y? Of course, that will be y minus 6, y plus 4 is equal to 0. Substituting the values, so we have using the zero product property. So we equate it to zero and we also equate this one to zero. So y plus four is equal to zero. Next, we solve now for the y values. So y is equal to six. And then in here, y is equal to negative four. Now, let us use the first equation to solve now for the value of x. So we have two y values. Again, let me rewrite the first equation. Equation of the parabola. Substituting now the y value. So we have x squared plus when x, when y is equal to six, two times six minus 12 is equal to zero. So that will be x squared is equal to 12 minus 12 will be zero. So the square root of zero is zero. So for the first coordinate, we'll have um, x is zero and then y is six. So this is the first solution at zero, six. Now, to solve now for the other y value when y is negative four, so we use again, or maybe we can use the, second equation, x squared plus y squared is equal to 36. We substitute the value of y. So we have x squared, plus negative four is um, negative four squared is equal to 36. So we have x squared is equal to 36 minus 16. So I transpose already positive 16. So x squared is equal to um, 36 minus 16 is 20. Extracting the roots of x squared is equal to 20. So x is equal to five times four. So that will be the square root of five times four. And what is the square root of four? That is two. So that is two on um, the square root of five. That is positive, negative to the square root of five. That's right, positive, negative positive, negative, the square root of two, I mean, positive, negative two, the square root of five. So we have two x values for y. So what are those? We have 
2, the square root of 5, negative 4. And then the other one will be negative 2, the square root of 5, negative 4. Um, negative 2, the square root of 5 is approximately 4 point something. No? So you can get the value using your calculators. Let us observe the graph. So again, the points of intersection are these points. This one and this one. Negative 4.472 and positive 4.72 is equivalent to, to the square root of 5. And this one is negative 2 square root of 5. So using the graphical method, you can use the intersections of the points. But in the modified assessment, you should, um, even if you don't have it, you should use the algebraic method. Let's have another problem. The square, the sum of the squares of two integers is 74. The difference of the squares is 24. Find the integers and indicate the solutions of the system. So for this example, we represent the sum of the squares of two integers is 74 as x squared plus y squared is equal to 74. For the difference of the squares, we represent it as x squared minus y squared is equal to 24. Solving the two equations simultaneously, we can add by elimination. So x squared plus x squared is 2x squared. y squared minus y plus negative y squared will be canceled. 74 plus 24 is 98. Dividing both sides by 2. So x squared is 49. And x value is positive negative 7. To solve for the y value, let's use the first equation. X, x squared plus y squared is equal to 74. Let's substitute the value of x, so that is 7 squared, so that is 49. Plus y squared is equal to 74. 74 minus 49 is y squared. Y squared is, what is 74 minus 49? That is 25. And the square root of Y squared is positive negative five. So therefore, the intersections of the um, first equation, X squared plus Y squared is equal to 74 is a circle. And X squared minus Y squared is equal to 24. Since we have a minus sign, it is a hyperbola. So as you observe, there will be four points of intersection. They are positive, negative, respectively. So we will just mix the integers. We have 7, 5, negative 7, negative 5, 7, negative 5, and negative 7, 5. So these four points are now the intersections of the circle, the equation of the circle, and equation of the hyperbola, respectively, as stated on this example. So this is how the graphical solution looks like. See, they are located on all the quadrants, the points of intersection of the red curve and the violet curve represented by the circle and the um, hyperbola with branches to the left and right. So here are the references used in this presentation. So we are now done with week six systems of nonlinear equation. For our next video lesson, we will talk about week number seven, series, sequence, and summation notations. You will have no problems about the last week for the first quarter, because in your grade in mathematics, you already had your lessons on sequence. So we will just enhance your skills for series and how to use summation notation. So again, this is Sir Peter.
your pre-calculus teacher. 